Morning guys, um, so the weather's beautiful, which is good, and I'm squinting, I can't really see what I'm filming. You'll notice there's no glasses, and there is a reason for that today. So basically, a couple of years ago, I started running quite a lot. Um, I was training to do the Great North Run in Newcastle. However, uh, I got ill through that. I'd run a couple of 10Ks in Manchester. I'd also run a couple of 10Ks in Leeds, and uh, I was getting pretty good and, and getting pretty used to running. But actually got ill. I found out that I had an autoimmune disease. I'm fine. I'm not gonna die. I'm good I take medication, but I'll talk to you about that another day However, it meant that for th at that time I had to actually stop running and I was gutted And then I think I lost a bit of motivation uh, Started to not eat great. You know, that's kind of where we're at today So I don't do any exercise really and I don't eat the best diet So because of the surprise that you'll have seen that I really want to announce that I mentioned on Twitter the other day I'm gonna have to start getting in shape now I still can't tell you what it is and I'm really sorry because because I want to be able to tell you, but I just can't at the moment. But I need to get in shape. So I've woke up, it's Mother's Day today. It's Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day and I said, do you know what? I need to start running again. I need to get myself in shape. I need to just lose a little bit of weight, turn up, sort myself out. So I'm going for my first run in about two years today. Um, probably won't last very long. My hair is everywhere. But yeah, I'm just going to see how I get on. I'm probably going to be a sweaty mess by the end of this, but uh, I'm not going to film when I'm running. So you just get to see the aftermath. So yeah, here goes. Let's go. Oh. I'm back, I've done it, about 20 minutes, and I'm fucked. I'm literally screwed over. I look like a tomato. But you know what? As much as I feel like this, it felt so good to run again. This might have to be a regular thing now. Run number one, done. Do not fear, guys. The glasses are back. They didn't go for long, because I can't be running cause be with them on, because they'll be going like this, which is not fun. Uh, so I am showered, I'm dressed. Got my vans on today. I've not worn these vans for oh can't see them. I've not actually worn these vans for a while, so I thought I'd put them on today. I literally can't believe the weather's so nice. It's just basically like summer. So yeah, even though that run killed me, uh, I think I'm gonna keep doing it because I really enjoyed it actually. It's just having the motivation, I suppose. Keep giving me a kick up the ass and telling me to do it, please. Now we're just uh, well, I say we. I am just gonna take my mum to um, have a coffee. It's a little place called Salt's Mill, and it's an old mill near where we live. It's like now been converted now so it's got like shops in it it's got a coffee, really nice coffee shop a gallery um it's got a couple of other bits of ours. they do events and stuff there but it's just a dead nice place to go and sit and have a coffee <laughs> might be able to show you a little bit in there when we're there if they let me film sometimes they can be a bit funny about those things but we'll see what happens and then we're gonna go to a pub uh, for some food uh, that i booked yesterday uh, just to say thank you to my mum for being the best mum in the world okay so let's go and get coffee so this is salt's mill Stand, well, say standard mill, it's really nice inside, but let's go have a look around and we'll see what's in here. So we're just in the little art gallery bit, and this is kind of the what, what they call the home of David Hockney. Um, so David Hockney, if you don't know, uh, and you should know, but if you don't know, David Hockney was a painter, well, an artist, uh, that was from Bradford, or in Bradford, hence why this is kind of the home of David Hockney. But it's kind of got a lot of his works here, there's a lot of books about him, uh, there's like notebooks and things with his, with his artwork in them, it's kind of a bit of a tribute to him, but it's got other artists in here as well. It's, it's very chilled, it's very relaxed, there's some relaxing music on in here. I don't know if you can hear it. Just looking at some books, and does anyone remember this book or is it just me? I'm sure most schools used to have this. Um, book in it. Um, it's called The Art Book. Have a look at this. Do you remember it? I'm sure every art department in secondary school used to have that book. It's a long time since I was at school, but I'm sure you must remember that book. So you might not remember the book, but you've got to remember these. These little grey things with uh, a little tool on the end and you'd, you'd do like little carvings in the, it was called lino cutting. Um, everyone did that in art and then you'd paint over it and then you used to stick it on a piece of paper and you'd get the print of what you've just cut out and appear on the piece of paper. So we've had a coffee but I didn't actually film anything in there just because it was a little bit quiet and as much as people probably think I'm ridiculous walking around with my camera now, people think you're even more ridiculous when it's quiet. So yeah, when we're done in here we will be heading home and then we'll be going up to a lovely pub near where we live uh, for some food to celebrate mum Mummy's Day. That's Salt's Mill, hope you enjoyed. We've just got to a really nice pub called the 
Carvely Arms. It's a vintage gin that is my mum on Mother's Day. We're going to order from the special Mother's Day menu, which looks really good. Because I'm special. Because she's special. Well, everyone's just deciding what they want on the menu. I think I'm going to have a beef dinner. But then we've noticed, and in the middle of the table, there's this little card. We've obviously booked the table, they know, know we're coming, and they've left my mum a lovely Happy Mother's Day card. I just think that's a really nice thing to do, a like, little card. So we've just finished eating. My mum's trying to give me a dirty plate for some reason, I'm not sure why. My dessert, I've eaten half. I'm assuming it's half of an apple crumble, but I've got a stitch now, so I can't eat anymore. Oh. My mum's just saying she's left half of her tiramisu as well. I think we're pretty much just winding up here. And my mum said she wants to go to bed. I'm going to take my brother home, and then I'm going to edit this video that you're watching right now. Here's to my mum. Cheers. So uh, I dropped my brother off home. I've ended up at my friend Rossi's house for a little bit. Um, so we're gonna just chill out, have some food. Anyway, don't forget, click subscribe, follow me on Twitter, the link's in the description below, and I'll put it at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Oh, and happy Mother's Day to my mommy. Mwah.